Sweet. Feel what? Christmas. What about it? You know what I'm talking about. The feeling, spirit, it's in the air. So Zach act don't mean I want to get caught up in it. You don't know what you're missing, sweet. Yes, I do. I've been missing it for a long time. Why are you so down on it? Back in Harlem, from whence I come, there wasn't a day in our lives we didn't need something. Then along come the Yuletide, getting us all excited about toys and turkey and presents. Christmas just gave us more things to want that we were never going to get. But Christmas ain't just things, sweet. Christmas is feeling good and people being extra kind to each other and kids believing in Santa Claus. Oh, I believe in him. I even met him once. Santa Claus? Got into my taxi on Broadway and 46th Street on Christmas Eve. Santa got in and said, take me to Yonkers. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Never forget that ride as long as I live. We got up on the Bronx River Parkway, and he say, pull over, son. Ho, ho, ho. I knew what happened. Santa Claus pistol whipped me and took 45 off. <laughs> fun in me. I got the stitches to prove it. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Shoot the picture! Come on, come on, come on, shoot the picture! My jaw's starting to lock. Oh, sir. Now oh, you made me lose the smile. I'm so thrilled to be in this garbage heap for Christmas, it'll take me a month to get another one. Begging the captain's pardon, sir, but since this photo is a, a Christmas present for your wife and family, might I suggest a shave and perhaps a fresh cigar? What are you, from the sanitation department or something? I just thought you would want to look neat, sir. What's the matter? You don't like the way I look. I didn't say that, sir. All Italians look like this. Even the women. We're never sloppy. We're rugged. Rugged? Yes, sir. Oh, when we want to look beautiful, watch yourself. Hey, kid. Did you know who Valentino was? Yes, sir. A very famous silent film star. He died when he was 31. A lot of good it did him to be neat. I never quite thought of it that way, sir. Terrific. Have the vision developed that. It's all taken care of, sir. They're picking it up in the next pouch. Hey, kid. What are you going to get your parents for Christmas? Oh, I guess I'll just send them each a nice letter. Each of them? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're from a broken home. I've never been too fond of Christmas, sir. Why not? I was always in military school, and each year my parents would fight over who was going to get me for the holidays. Somehow I'd wind up alone riding on a train at Christmas. To this day, I still cry when I see a conductor. <laughs> hey, kid. This Christmas, your train is pulling into the station. Sir? The 50-50 company's going to have a Christmas party. The biggest blow out of the year. Fun, fun, fun. You get that? Nobody leaves the party until they have fun. Huh? <laughs> This air cleaner is filthy. Somebody ought to tell General de Gaulle that France needs a good duster. Hey, sweet. I wasn't gonna tell you this till later, but remember that Messerschmitt we saw near Third Army? The one was shot down? 
That's all I ever think about. Well, I cut a big hunk out of the fuselage and made me a whole mess of Christmas gifts. Are we back on Christmas again? Look at this. Made this watch band for my daddy. And this necklace is for my mama. And I made these things for my little brother and sister. Solid. Made some for you too, sweet. We agreed we aren't exchanging gifts. Oh, it ain't very much, sweet. Besides, I ain't expected nothing back. Good, because that's exactly what you're getting. Gift wrapped and do not open until Christmas. <laughs> What'd you make me? <laughs> <laughs> what you two crooks doing? Just smiling is all, Sergeant. Who gave that order? Wipe it off. <laughs> We're sorry, Sergeant. Came over sudden like. It, it won't happen again. The only time I smile is when you're working, Williams. And the only time you smile is when you ain't. Now, at last count, there's a few dozen greasy pots stacked in the sink. So you wash, darling, and I'll smile. You can't blame nobody for smiling, Sergeant B.J. Christmas is just around the corner. Christmas is December 25th. The day before is the 24th. The day after is the 26th. And we roll supplies on all three dates. Now, unless you can get the Germans to take five and bring on the relief band. It's just another day to me. So get on it, get on it, get on it! Because I was nailing shoes on creepers before you were born. Now get down here, both you brown bricks. <laughs> all right, all you men, fall in on me. All right, move it, move it anytime this year. I got an announcement to make. Captain Calvelli wants me to announce that there will be a Christmas party right here at 5050 Company. Well, yeah, all right. Okay. Between runs, of course. Whoopee. <gasps> Give me a minute. <laughs> Tell the captain how choked you are. Hey, what's the matter with this outfit? Ain't anybody caught up with Christmas? I got just one thing to say from me personally. Do not, I repeat, do not get me any Christmas gifts. Oh, shoot. Why didn't you tell us sooner, Sarge? After we went out and fussed? And you know how hard it is to exchange lingerie. <laughs> All right, you dog faces. Just keep laughing. And I might just invite you to a little party of my own. On Christmas Eve, we'll gather around and trim the latrine. <laughs> Hey, sweet. I hear it. I'm very sorry to have been of trouble to you, monsieur. Allons, mes enfants. Uh, begging your pardon, Reverend. Uh, 
I'm no expert on religious matters, but applauding those boys is like clapping in church. I, I can't speak for everybody, but that's just about the most beautiful thing I ever heard. You're speaking for me, sweetie. And me. A and moi. From... <laughs> I'm Captain Cavelli, Father. And I want to thank you on behalf of my men. And, uh, well, if there's anything we can do for you. Uh, actually, uh, Mon Capitan, uh, the boys and myself, we are from L'Eglise Saint Bertin. And uh, each year we make uh, the wreaths for Noel. Mm. And we sell them. That is how we support our little orphanage. Hey, well, I sure would like to buy one of them reefs. Uh, make that too. Yeah. Sure, and I'll be buying one of the beautiful things from the boys too. <laughs> and me and I will take a couple. Here's I do. Oh, Give merci. us two more. Merci okay. infiniment, monsieur. C'est formidable. Stop, Look here with that file. What's the matter with your children stealing from food from our mess hall? You can't eat that stuff internally. Pierre <laughs> Joss. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a, hein? Qu'est-ce que vous avez fait? Nous avons rien fait, mon père. Nous avons faim. Oh, quelle honte. I'm sorry, monsieur, but the war is a terrible teacher. Etienne, l'argent. That's not necessary, father. You know. Sergeant, take these kids to the mess hall. See if they get a good meal. Okay, come on. I'll get you some eggs or something. If you touch the slop these guys eat, you could commit food aside. <laughs> two, three, four, up, two, three, four, up, two, up, two. Lift them up, put them down. Let's go. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. <laughs> Let's see, where do I put this? I got it. We'll cover Benito Baby for the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> First Christmas gift for concussion. Captain, Private Brooks has an idea he'd like to tell you about. What is it, Private uh, Brooks? I know who you are. You're. Sir, I think one of the reasons the men ain't been so all fired up about Christmas is, well, it just sort of reminds them of their loneliness. That's very intuitive, Brooks. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. It's okay. You want me to wait in the car while you two finish? Mm -hmm. Uh, what I was thinking is that we should get the men's minds off themselves and onto somebody else. You said we were having a party, right, Captain? Right. Well, why not let us make the party for the orphan boys? I got it. I got it. I think the captain is about to have your idea. Instead of that, why don't we throw a party for the orphans? I like it, sir. Very good, Captain. <laughs> Something you want to see me about, Brooks? Sir? once. The meeting for the orphanage party will now come to order. Yeah, I second that motion. First, uh, we will hear a report from the uh, decorations committee. Uh, I think that's you, Wheels. With an able assist from the inimitable. High strung, appearing twice nightly in World War II. <laughs> uh, I am pleased to announce that the uh, decorations will not only be good, they will be gangbusters. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> What's next on the agenda, Jedediah? Uh, Transportation Committee, phone booth in Jersey. We got permission to use two of our buckets to pick up the kids and they will be gaily decorated for the occasion. Yes, I thought something in lavender, tasteful without being masculine. <laughs> it's gonna be a ball. Now, what about the presents for late times? I will donate this little music box which I bought in Paris. I'm giving up my pickup stick. <laughs> And I'm pledging my tall mixed straight. <laughs> hey, I made something for the kids. It's a model of one of our trucks. Hey. Red ball. Jet it, dying. Them miniature double clutches don't need a model, Brooks. They got the real thing. Say what? Two of our little angels just took off with truck number six. <laughs> number six! <laughs> I 
I want to talk to you men about the late great truck number six. <laughs> now, there are several ways I can go. I can go crazy, or berserk, or out of my Sicilian scut. <laughs> but I choose not to do any of these things. Instead, I'm going to have a tantrum. <laughs> I want that truck back, back, back! <laughs> Army regulations clearly state, a company commander shall be personally and financially liable for each and any of all equipment, which is heretofore assigned in any manner, shape, or form. There so under his name of the... Hmm. Aforementioned. Aforementioned. <laughs> now, I think that's pretty clear. <laughs> that vehicle costs three Gs, gents. Three biggie beauties. And because you are my men, and we share and share alike, we're going Dutch treat on that truck. <laughs> so what it all boils down to is this. Find number six. Also help me assure as God make little green noodles every month. I will deduct from your pay all of your pay. <laughs> Dismiss the men. Yes, Miss. <laughs> Sorry, sir. It's all right. My life is over. <laughs> Got the blues Easter Sunday. Got the blues July 4th. But I'm gonna get the blues in December Like I never had before Well, uh, I just can't shake it It's way down to my shoes So I guess I'll have to fake it I got them Christmas blues <laughs> Well, if it ain't Tiny Tim <laughs> Say it, son why don't we all give a little Christmas party for the Gestapo? Hey, any more bright ideas, country boy? Maybe buy an earthquake or something? Look, Jeff got a lot to learn about human nature, but his only crime is suffering from a trusting heart. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever happened, it was his will. Well, I sure hope he leave us $3,000 in that will. Sweet. The Lord helps those that help themselves. Them kids sure help themselves to that truck. <laughs> Jed, I don't know nothing about the Lord, but uh, we do know somebody that voted for the Pope. <laughs> we do? I have questioned them time and time again, monsieur, and they say they do not know where the boys have gone with the talk, and I must believe them. Father, I was a little French boy myself once. Uh, of course, our accent was from a different province. I used to be able to steal the hubcaps off a moving car. I was wanted dead or alive in every dime store in Harlem. In those days, I was known as the Locus. Lo locus? <laughs> so, I know how and what those kids think. And I also know there's only one thing that's going to get the truth out of them. And that is the police. Oh, la. You do not have to call the police, monsieur. Your truck is not stolen. It just died and went to heaven, right? Le wagon sera chez lui la veille de Noël. What did he say? He says the truck will be returned on Christmas Eve. C'est vrai, sir? Je le promis. Sweet, I believe him. You so trusting you even believe me. <laughs> Don't let him down, Father. present a little of our own home talent. A young man who comes to us direct from the Copacabana in Iron Mountain, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> How about a nice 50-50 welcome for uh, 
Jersey Hampton. Jersey Hampshire! Hampton. Shut up. Here he is, Jersey! Thank you for that round of indifference. In retaliation, I'm going to do my impression of a football player in slow motion. Any sign up on you? No, but they said they'll be here Christmas Eve. Well, this is about as Christmas Eve as it's going to get. <laughs> Receiver. singing a voice as well. Say hello to... Wheels Dawson. I know. <laughs> Wheels Dawson! he's going to sell it right after the show. <laughs> Let's hear a warm welcome for... Give me a break. Sweet Williams. Sweet Williams and a surprise guest. I'd like for you to meet uh, my little friend, Frankie Fist. <laughs> Hi, dummy. Who you calling a dummy, double clutch? <laughs> Why, shame on you, using that kind of language. You know what your trouble is? Uh, you have no savoir faire. On oh, what you pay me, I'm lucky to have subway fare. <laughs> hey, sweet, look here. It's Bill. It's Bill. Monsieur, the mystery is solved. The boys were only borrowing the truck to bring you a gift. A, a special thank you for your kindness. Voila! Well, sweet. I may not believe in Santa Claus, but I do believe in children once more. <laughs> 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 